Hey guys, it's Rena Wells. I am a medicine woman and highly intuitive, and I am here to do your Saturn and Jupiter conjunction that is coming on the winter solstice on December 21st. So some very high potent energies that are coming through. I am a genuine twin flame. I knew of my twins name. Uh, I didn't recognize the name until I met him, but I do, I did, was downloaded with all of this information um, prior to meeting. We are currently in, I'm currently in surrender stage and on mission and running ayahuasca retreats in Mexico. So if you are interested about that, please uh, take a look. All my information is down below. This reading, I'm going to talk a little bit about love and what sacred love is really about, okay? Because a lot of us are very confused about that. Um, Spirit wants to bring this up, and as I came out of meditation, um, I've been actually downloading a lot of light, light language and things like that lately, and so what Spirit wants to talk about is what's real love and what's human-based chemical response love. And chemical response love is very much like addiction right? It's the chemicals that run in your brain. It's what the ego plays off. It's what a lot of us attach to in love relationships. Spirit is bringing through like the twin flames that are walking into the mystical realm, the true leaders of this uh, new earth that's coming and bringing down these high potent codes. It's not going to be how we've always felt about love, right? It's going to be, um, Spirit wants me to pull up some, some heart places. Um, let's take a look. Let's jump right in. So again, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, if you want to work deeper with me, all the info is down below. But I'm really here to talk about, um, yeah, let's talk about the love stuff. Let's talk about the love because Spirit is really wanting to bring through how this is going to change. What's happening with Jupiter and Saturn conjunct in Aquarius, it's been in Earth signs all this time. And this hasn't happened in over a thousand years. I, if you go to the community page, you'll see that I posted a little bit about this. And now it's in the sign of Aquarius, which is the star, the destiny. It's the star tarot in the deck. I'm like, is this going to show up? Am I going to see the star? <laughs> I had a feeling, but maybe not. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's about high intelligence, genius intelligence. Uh, this is about the rise of masculine energy on the planet. We already are in all of feminine. We are just not respecting the feminine, which is mama, pachamama, right? We're not respecting the womb, the nurturing, the magic that mama has, the, the resources that she gives us. That's the first place to connect before you can meet the father. Okay, father creator force energy is so high up in the cosmos, right? That's why a lot of star seeds are incarnated right now. And because of that, um, it's very hard to meet the father. And so all of us have created, thank you spirit, what love is. And this is human love. So I haven't flipped this yet, but this is what human love is, what spirit is bringing through. And this is where we're trapped in the human conditioning of what romance. And so it's all that romantic stuff. It's all that... Ooh la la, ooh, you're sexy, you're hot. Yes, you make me feel good. It's always an exterior attachment. This is changing coming up with this huge conjunction, okay? Because it has to bring in a higher level of intelligence. Now, it's bringing up our health. How healthy is this romantic love? How does it make judgments and, and how does it not create doubts in our life? This is about a renewal of self that's happening of what's really, um, what real sacred God union love is all about. And that's why twins are here. Okay, so I'm just making sure that I have a good view of everything. Um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll just pull this up a little bit so you guys can... Sorry. I should have done the view thing, but I have, have a makeshift camera because it fell and broke, and so it's not exactly how I wanted it. But yeah, okay, so that's perfect. So Spirit is bringing this up that this is the ego love. Okay, this is what's happening. This is the energy that's coming in. Don't forget to like, guys. Please like like this. It really helps my channel to grow. Um, somebody reported my channel and got all on my social media and reported a lot of my stuff. That's why the views aren't going up and that's why it's taking forever to post a video. So thank you to whoever's jealous of me, who's envious of me. Thank you. It just, it all the dark energy, guys, like I've got to a place where dark energy comes. It acts like a catapult. I'm like, yeah, bring it. Bring it because I will transmute that and use it as fuel. That's where we want to get to, guys. You want to use that dark stuff. Bring it. Bring it. You think you're powerful? You think you can attack me? Bring it. Let's use it. Let's move it into fuel. That's how it is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you'll just burn in my light. That's that's where we got to get to, guys. 
this Christ consciousness that's coming in, this high vibration of father energy, masculine energy, is showing us what real divine love is, okay? So this is what spirit wants to bring up here. It's affecting our love, okay? Our health, our health that's happening here. Let me take a sip of water. So the first thing that's coming through is this romantic kind of love is actually affect, affecting our health. Because we continuously attach. We don't make proper judgment calls. We're attaching, we're attaching. This is what love is. This is what love is. It's a, it's a psychological chemical response, like addiction that we constantly fight because divine love takes away all of the labels. It takes away what body you're in. It takes away your sexual preference. It takes away uh, what you're normally attracted to. It takes away personalities that you're attracted to. It takes away uh, intellect that you're attracted to. Okay. And it, and it really breaks you open. That's divine love, okay? Spirit wants me to pull what's divine love. It brings in a lot of doubt. The romantic love brings in a lot of doubt. And if you notice where we're in our evolution process, twin flames are here to move into, and we have to have patience, look on the bottom of the deck, as we move into divine love. What is divine love? This is what divine father love is. Ha, ha, ha. It's humorous. It's funny. It's like friendship. It's abundant, abundant, abundant. Okay. And God's love is acceptance. That's what I was saying. See, ah, oh, thank you. So yeah, this is really, you can see now divine love, twin flame love and romantic love. And this is what spirits really wanting to bring through. And my readings are really changing right now. I've hit something new guys. I don't know what's happened, but I've definitely hit another level. And, um, yeah, let's clarify here. So let's, let's clarify this, this fake love. And this is where all of us are having issues in our romantic love. It's not about sex. Okay. Twin flames are not about sex. Spirit will not let twins have sex. I, I, I hate to say it. Like there are like, unless you're really coming into union and the sex will be strange or it'll be like, it's just a weird thing with the sex thing with twins. It, with karmic energies, with things that are romantic, that are chemically response, it will feel good. Okay. The sex will feel good <laughs> because it's attaching to a chemical response in your body. So this is a very hard thing to break in our world. And with our twin flame, spirit will not let that happen. If you're attached still to those chemical responses. Now, there are twins that do have sex before they come into you. I'm not saying that, okay? What I'm saying is spirit only allows that union to happen. But there's something that happens with the sex with twins, if that does happen, that it's just a little bit, whoa, that was entire, like it, it's, a, it's an awakening. It's, a, it's something completely different. And then usually after that interaction, it's you can't operate the same way at all. And it's not an attachment. It's not like you're long and like, oh, I miss that person. I'm going to die if I don't. I don't know how to cope with these emotions. It's not like that. That's desperation. That's this stuff, okay? It's more like, what was that? I'm feeling activated. I'm feeling all this energy or I'm feeling like, oh my God, this is like potent. It's a heightening experience. If you're experiencing low vibrations, it's not divine love, guys. And I can't reiterate this. And honestly, I don't believe, based on my experience of what I have, I, I mean, basically what I experience with my connection, you people have to die and meet God before they have that experience. That's how holy my connection was. Very sacred, okay? So let's get into this. So let's take a look. This this romantic love, this is changing, guys, with the Jupiter and conjunct, uh, Jupiter and Saturn conjunction, okay? It's uh, Christ consciousness that's coming in. And this has been coming through in the last three videos. This video and the last two videos. If you haven't looked at them, please go look at them. A lot about Father Creator Force energy coming in. This is the rise of the masculine. The age of Aquarius is masculine energy. It's intelligence. It's genius. It's creation force. It is potent, okay? Thank you. It cannot ground until the feminines can hold a deep womb of acceptance for that. So let's take a look at this. This is where we're moving towards... All right, we're moving towards the Six of Swords with our help. We're moving to calmer waters. We're moving to a peaceful place, a mental place, a place that feels really good. Okay, I'm just making sure that I'm seeing this properly. Yeah, so look, we're getting over our fears of judgments of what love is, okay? The wheel cannot turn when you're in doubt. So if you're staying in karmic situations and you're still playing in this, you've got to get over your fear, over judgment, over a renewal of your soul. 
and to move into unknown territory, to move peacefully for your health, for your mental health, for your emotional health, to graciously move on and cross the waters, okay? This is fate cannot turn with all of this doubt. Cannot turn, cannot happen. I wanna pull a medicine card and I'm gonna pull uh, portals that are happening. All right, so Spirit is saying, we're gonna be getting very serious about relationships coming into the new year, you guys. What's real and what's not real? And it's a fine discernment because Spirit, for those that are watching this video, Spirit is saying, this is about a higher consciousness. This is not about always that we've had relationships. This is not about, oh, it was so like ecstatic and this is so beautiful and this is so like, oh, so sexual. And no, Spirit is saying the romance is a human made concept and it's not a bad thing, you guys. We need this type of energy to move in our consciousness. So please go listen to some of my channel teachings because I talk a lot about this where we've moved, how twins complement each other, how we are, we're moving into a different state of consciousness of what actual partnership is, um, sacred partnership. Um, that's where we're moving to. And that's gonna, that's gonna, that's the mission. That's the mission. That's what I've been told by Ayahuasca. Like that is the mission. The twin flame journey. Well, for me anyways, that's the mission. Trust me, I try to get away from it, okay? <laughs> like, I have tried. This is what I have to do. So, let's take a look here. They want to look. Look at the slaw. The south. The south. The fire, okay? The masculine energy is here on the bottom, okay? So, masculine energy showing up right away, you guys. The south. The fire energy, okay? We have pine is the second one. Another masculine energy, Okay? Uh, this is Mars. This is with air energy, which is also Aquarius. So this is beautiful. We have 10 for completion. This is number 11, right? This is 660. Okay, so it's six for love. The lover's card, that is manifestation. This is also uh, six, right? Six on top of a six, 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 six. Six, six is actually not a double number. It's actually the physical manifestation of something. You have six carbon, six new neutrons, six protons. It's six, 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 okay? physical manifestation of love what real love is for your health moving towards that getting over fears having a renewal of the spirit standing at the face of god and saying i surrender this is masculine energy north mars energy air with aquarius moving into age of aquarius and we have here uh 10 which is completion this is an 11 okay so we have an 11 and we have 10 which is also one endings and beginnings capricorn um this moving into Capricorn season as well, right? Because when we hit the 21st of the solstice, which is look at this with the cycle that's happening, right? With the whole cycle thing that's happening and everything that's happening. Can you see that? Um, that's a Puma or a Jaguar. I'm not sure, but it's, it's said the elders. Okay. The elders are here overseeing this guys. Okay. It's going to alleviate doubt. And this is moving into Capricorn season. It's air energy. That is amazing synchronicity right there. So those are the energies that are playing out coming into this conjunction. All right, let's take a look at the portal that's opening up to move out of old romantic love, egoic romance. Okay, this is, and I'm telling you guys, this is not how, this is not about feeding animalistic human physical desires. It's not that you can't have that with your twin but it is grounding the father sacred energy for the masculines to rise up to discover the potency of that vibrant masculine energy. And that, and if you look up lingam and yoni, which is the Hindu terms, if you look up the lingam, you know, the lingam is the sexual parts of the masculine, but that is, um, you know, we, the men, the masculines, and this is what I'm being told to say this and share this, the masculines don't know how to use that. They only knew, know have been taught how to use that based on our world out of egoic ways. What is that type of attraction, that kind of affection? I'm sorry if you're hearing drilling. Someone is doing construction next door. Um, yeah, and so if the lingam has a mind of its own, it's a conscious being of the father creator force. But that does not get activated until you have had enough awakening to realize that a lot of us are trapped in romantic notions and attachments and addiction and chemical responses of love. Okay. So this is the portal that's opening to get over the fears of this, to realize that we have to move into the unknown. Now. We have to move into our sacred unions. We've got to ground and recognize that we have to like somehow realize we don't know anything. We don't know really father God energy. Okay. It hasn't been here since Christ walked on the planet. We don't really know what, 
that creator force energy. Masculines don't really know what that is. Everyone's lost about what love is. Um, completely, completely, okay? And it's not to say that you don't know what your connection is or you don't know love. I'm not saying that, but there is definitely a lot of attachment that we're still having notions of even what this twin flame journey is about. Because it's about sacredness, holiness. And if it's not, if you're, if you're not feeling holy with your twin and you're feeling more dark about it, the, I would question what you're attaching to. Because there's not one moment that I didn't feel that this wasn't holy with him. There was pain that was coming up, but I never deflected that onto him. It was pain within myself that got activated. But I knew how sacred that this was a gift from God. The holiness never went away. So if the holiness is going away and you're getting trapped, you're getting manipulated by darker forces. So I highly suggest just listen to some of the channel teachings. I know there's a lot of twin flames out there, but a lot of us are getting lost in this romantic notion. And then that's really what's been, that's coming out here for the collective, okay? So let's take a look at the portal that's opening up that's going to help transition this. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Whew. Thank you. Look deeper. Deep within me is a majestic radiance. Look at this, these mountains here. It is going to be like Moses went to the mountain. Okay, masculine energy coming through very strong. Going to the top of the mountain. Jesus said you can uh, move mountains with, with faith. I'm not even sure, but there's something about these masculines that are really coming through. Look a little deeper. Spirit wants me to pull another card, okay? So there is a lot. Look at this. It's coming out right on top. We have... Revealing the radiance of this God force. Look at this, the creation force. It's like a sun, okay? My light illuminates the world. I can't make that up. That is Father God talking right now. My light illuminates the world. Sorry, my heater is on, guys. I didn't, I'm in Toronto, Canada. It's freaking cold here. So if you hear the heater, it just came on. Um, and look, communicate. The Father God wants to communicate. Could be also masculines coming forward to communicate with their feminines. But um, this is really potent doorways that are opening up about communication, revealing the radiance of masculine energy, the hygienous energy, okay, of creation, the perfection of it, and getting deep into the womb of the mother, okay? All right, guys, let's take a look and take another sip of water. Let's take a look. Okay. Let's take a look at what is divine love. Divine love, sacred love, is acceptance. You love so holy and so sacred that, yes, I accept all of that. And you can't make that up, guys. That is not a selfish love. This acceptance is that you actually hold back your own desires because you love so much, right? Because you don't want to uh, interrogate the other person or, you know, it's not like a, a selfish thing where oh they can, this is selfish love right oh this feels so good oh yeah we're meant to be oh, da, 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 da. and they go at all costs and and break all kinds of ties and hurl all kinds of people to make that happen that's not sacred love okay divine love only breaks karmic ties that cause those issues okay sacred love is a natural unfolding it's beautiful it's soft it's accepting it holds back it holds space it's like it does not bring in your selfish ego desires. And I know that's hard, but that's where we're moving to. And these twins are opening this portal into the into that, okay? So let's take a look here at um, some tarot. They want me to pull the same tarot, so we're going to use the same tarot. Whew. All right, so let's see, Spirit, divine love that we're moving into with the Saturn and Jupiter. Thank you. And Spirit's bringing up, so as this, the winter solstice hits, that means that we're moving further away from the sun. So with the conjunct with the star, it creates a star of David. The star of Jupiter come, it'll look like, this, like a star, a huge star in the north sky. I can't, you know, like this hasn't happened since I think 1200 AD, okay? And so before that, it was around the time of Christ, right? So this is very important energy, you guys. Now, with, with, the winter solstice moving away from the masculine energy even further away that means that we're going to have to ground further into the womb of the mother the emotions okay and plant the seeds of creation of what we want to create as we move into capricorn season okay so this is coming into capricorn okay it's into january time frame of sacred union of sacred love okay 
All right, so Spirit is saying, let's take a look. Acceptance here, Father God, please. Thank you. Acceptance. Acceptance, abundance, and humor. This is the where we're moving into. Wow, we've got two for the last one, okay? We have the King of Wands with the Page of Cups in, in reverse. Oh, we've got two for this one as well. We have Abundance with the Nine of Wands and the Fool. Okay, that's interesting. We have the Page, Rejection or Acceptance. So this is what I'm getting. A lot of us on this Twin Flame journey are going to have a battle of will. It's going to be a battle between the ego of romantic love and what really is God's love, okay? Because I know this is scary. God's love is scary. Everyone's scared of power, right? What is What do we say? We where It's not our darkness we're afraid of. It's our power. We really are that powerful and masculines are having a very hard time because they they understand the womb of the mother they understand the feminine they can hold that they can love they can accept they can be in karmic situations and still give that love and be in the womb but they're not honoring their pure potential of creation and manifestation and co-creation of father god force because god father god god force is destructive and creative at the same time father god is the sun it does not he the father does not care if you are blinded by the sun we are the ones that need to seek the shade the sun will shine the the volcanoes will erupt the earthquakes will happen okay creation comes into the earth grid to create so we're gonna have a hard time accepting rejection okay where we've been rejected before because that all of that we're gonna have a, even hard time accepting the love of father god okay so we're gonna have to fight our egos that's like when jesus went into the desert 40 days and 40 nights right the the that whole ego thing of are they going to accept it am i going to uh reject it okay the abundance is opening that door is opening for us you guys we have to be this wounded healer persevere even with our guard up because nothing is going to take off okay a lot of twins are going to be very stagnant in connections if they haven't left or if they're trying to work it on it and they're trying to do all this stuff it's going to be very difficult because they're going to notice thank you spirit wants me to pull another card nothing's going to start off because it's i feel like the magician's going to be in reverse is what they're showing me because it's going to be like yeah look at this delays fears of change not and having to persevere through that okay so a lot of twins are going to be called through and having to accept the abundance of father god in divine love these masculines are going to have to um and feminines as well okay because feminines have to learn how to move into masculine energy not to be so dreamy and wishy-washy in the emotions all the time and gain the intelligence of, of aquarius energy the high vibration of intelligence of like creation and um planning and not even planning it's like destiny and it's like perfect like creation of sacred this is why i love this cloth right the sacred geometry the perfection there's math and science and spirituality it's all linked i love all of that stuff right so if you look at every pattern on the planet like the sacred geometry there's a mathematical equation that goes along with it. it's absolutely brilliant brilliance right feminines are gonna have to learn how to move into that and not delay that because that's where pure abundance comes in that's why spirit had me pull these out because of this beautiful sacred geometry everything look at this it's such a beautiful alignment there is a mathematical equation that comes with this and the feeling of the feminine energy is to feel the vibrance of that high intelligence now there's going to be delays here of getting anything started and we're going to have to persevere through that okay Spirit wants you to take the humor of everything. And I love this because there's a Buddha in the middle. <laughs> so funny. I love the big belly Buddha. It's so freaking cute. Um, because the masculines are going to try to to use this fire energy, right, to move forward. But they are going to be emotionally unstable because it's brand new territory. They're not going to know how to maneuver it at all. But that's part of the journey, you guys. It, to know the creator is to move in complete faith, right? Uh, faith of a mustard seed can move mountains that's what the saying is that's what just came through so that faith is really about moving that forward here okay and and to find the humor in these situations to laugh at our ego and be like oh my god like this karmic situation or this old situation or my family and this or my friend that did that or whatever it's kind of like to find the humor in it and be like what was wrong like oh my god that was so ridiculous why did i even think that Spirit is really asking to come into these places of acceptance with this conjunction that's happening 
planting those seeds and really getting serious about your path and your mission. That's really what's coming forward, okay? It is going to be a little un emotionally unstable, but that's why we're getting the solstice is pulling us away from the sun and into the mother deeply so we can nurture ourselves because this transit with masculine energy coming in is going to be so lit, so hype, so, you know, this is like trying to deny the father here. Look at this tower. The lightning bolt comes in. It's destructive. It is, but that is pure creation energy. And if masculines cannot hold that vibration, they have to be okay with their force of power that it does break foundations apart. That is part of the masculine power. Men cannot be afraid of that. We are in a distorted masculine on the planet. The distorted masculine on the planet is fighting wars and things like that. It's being used completely for the wrong reason. And that's why these masculines don't want to be destructive, right? Because they don't know real destruction to create. They only know destruction to kill and to hurt. And so they're becoming wounded in the feminine energy. And when they become wounded in the feminine energy, they become little men who never grow up, right? Do you want to date a little man? I don't, I don't want to date a little man. <laughs> There's some fire coming through me today, you guys. But that's really what it is. Okay, these flipped out. I just, I just banged the deck like this. These flipped out, Spirit of says. This is what's happening here. Look at this. Masculine. I said the magician was coming out. Did I not say I saw the magician in the tarot? Magician right there. Aho. Look at this. Listening to your heart. This is twin flames. Look at this. This is so beautiful. The flaming heart. Jesus had a flaming heart. Jesus and Mary Magdalene. The flaming heart of God. I trust the messages I receive for my heart. This is following that. The flaming heart. Okay. Dwelling in the truth. I stand in the light of the truth. Knowing the truth, like you know the truth, like you know the truth, like you know the truth. That is the light of God. You you can't you can sit in this old vibration, right? It's gonna reveal your radiance no matter what. Eventually you will move towards this. Twins will are moving into 2021 into this. That's why this conjunct is, is so important, okay? Believe in the magic. True magic is abounding in my life. Okay. So these are the portals that are going to open up with the with sacred union with a sacred partner with uh real god's love okay there's no doubt here you guys there's only truth there's only divine truth and look how she's glowing with the sky right there's only uh massive truth here okay Woo! potent energy is coming through guys potent energies let's take a look let's take a look at what medicine cards are coming out i need a sip of water why do i i get so thirsty doing these readings now I'm excited to see what comes out next week. I'd love to hear your comments, you guys. Um, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So let's take a look. All right. <laughs> I'm going to do my little. <laughs> I love it. I don't know what it means, but it feels so good. All right. Let's take a look, Spirit. What is the medicine wheel? Can we have the energies that are moving into... The portals that are opening up after the conjunction, moving into Capricorn season, which we know is happening. What is going on? Thank you. We have the first one that popped out. Bear Berry, feminine energy. All right. So we have balance here. Feminine South, sun and water. So Bear Berry. Number three. Okay. Three is about contracts. Three is about working, building something together. Okay. So feminine energies, working with feminine energy nurturing that that's why the solstice is happening right until the spring equinox when new birth can happen right spring is the mother energy returning right the uh the abundance and all of the spring to build again that that's what's happening we have another one that flipped up spirits asking me to take it okay i don't even realize this is number four this is to move and this is a progression from three to four 30 to 40 this is masculine energy building four pillars. You cannot build unless you have four pillars. This is where like I know like with my my journey, there's four pillars. There's two sets of twins. It creates four elements. It creates a grounded foundation to build God's work. Okay, there's masculine, north, mercury, earth, spruce. This is spruce. This is four. Uh, yeah, so this is masculine energy coming in and they're really giving me that the spruce... Um, 
Yeah, they're showing me like how this build, the, the, the growth that happens from this tree. It's a coming together of masculine and feminine energies and merging that together in a foundation. And when you're dwelling in truth and the abundance that can happen when twin flames come together. So these masculines are starting, um, I really think that's a lot of masculine, um, are starting to realize the power of this tower, right? They've got to recognize this lightning and the feminine energy here, which is earth which is planet mercury is grounding it into the earth to uh, experience real abundance in the earth plane okay so that's the balancing that's happening between the two and the last one is uh, have a sense of humor about this right <laughs> it's 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 magical we have a now an 11 okay so three four progression and an 11 um uh, mint masculine energy air energy okay which is beautiful mint is uh, is amazing um, so if you guys are into plants, I am learning more about plants and their, their metaphysical properties and working with them. I do, um, my cousin makes tinctures and stuff. So anyways, <laughs> just want to give a shout out to her, but yeah, like it's uh, like, if you know more about these, look up these plants, cause they're definitely something that you can use. Um, so yeah, this is really about a progression moving into the sacred, uh, new, uh, masculine energy. We're going to be fighting with our, what are we rejecting? What are we accepting? What's our real abundance? What is the real truth here? What is God's divine truth? Knowing the father energy and believing in the magic of father energy. Father masculine energy is creative. It's manifestation, but we are misusing it with all this new age bollocks about law of attraction and all this like, oh, la, 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 like law of attraction. Like, no, it's misuse. And I'm sorry, guys, like I'm a little bit of a, of a, I like pure alignment. I just, that's just how I am in this incarnation. My North node is Libra. I like relationships, fairness, and true alignment. I ain't got time for nothing else. It does not in alignment. That's just not a thing. <laughs> so that's just how it is. And to know true alignment is get to know the father God energy, right? And we can't know that until we really know the mother first. Um, you know, and and it's not that you can't know, you can get glimpses, Spirit is saying, but it's a solidification of that to heal the psyche, okay? Because we all know what Spirit is saying. We all know it, but what's happening is like we are not trusting it, right? We're having the doubt, okay? And to solidify masculine energy is to start to really focus on that, speak to the creator, and start to accepting that energy to come in. All right, whew. First step is knowing the mother, okay? To know the nurturing, to know how to love yourself, okay? First step. If you want to learn that, come do ayahuasca with us. <laughs> My shaman is amazing. She is, she is lit. <laughs> she actually grounds me. She's got more masculine energy. I'm like so feminine. She's so much more masculine than me, but. All right, let's get some messages here for uh, the doorways that are, the spirit wants to bring through for the twin flames and what is supporting them with this conjunction and that will be the reading okay guys so let's take a look what is supporting the twin flame spirit thank you and this is for the union connection energy between the two thank you spirit thank you thank you all right first one out the lady of the mirror reflection and non-judgment okay mind space no more judging the other counterpart no more let it go no more judging what the other person is doing okay because there's always more depth behind anything that you're seeing this is letting go again spirit is saying the attachment to the 3d world attachment to what we think real love is like all of these things that we you know romance and sexuality all these things these things keep us trapped in knowing the true essence of who we really are, okay? This is like the reflection, the non-judgment. We have to sit still. Spirit is also saying, she ain't moving anywhere. She's sitting by that water and she's accepting everything for what it is. So this is about stillness. This is, a, and look how still that water is. It has to be still for her to look at herself, okay? This is about being so still in yourself, accepting everything that is, so that you can understand, non-judging yourself, not judging yourself, not pushing yourself, not none of that and just being completely in that space of allowing okay that's in the mind space in the heart space we have 
the queen swan transformation intuition and patience now this is beautiful this is number 13 so that is about transformation that's the death card i believe this is a four four so this is about building okay sacred number four pillars for we need four elements um we need those things to build um, in the heart space, it's using our intuition for a transformation, being patient with ourselves, kind to ourselves. Okay, so that's very important. In the action space for the twins, the word Lord, communication, praise, and dishonor. So this is really asking about wisdom, 43, number seven. It's hard. It's going to be hard because it's going to break your mental capacity about dishonesty, where you've been dishonest, where you haven't been true to yourself, where you're not listening to yourself, um, talking about um, your fears, okay, to each other if you are in communication, okay, getting over the dishonesty piece about what this connection really is, okay, the spiral dancer and the outcome, circuitous root and perception, the cycles that that have been playing out okay you're going in a cycle in a circle so the twins are going on like this okay we're gonna get some clarification on this um what I'm seeing is spirit is saying okay moving in through the conjunction okay and into Capricorn season we are going to have to be very reflective of everything that we're doing okay we're gonna have to be still we're not gonna be acting on anything okay we have to be still we have to be in our intuition then this is like the ice queen we have look at this we have swans which are about twin flames I can't make that up okay we have one swan here and one swan there but it's it's frozen things are still completely frozen okay this is about having patience about trusting in the creator force energy to unfreeze this okay and unfreeze the heart okay there's a lot of work that's happening this is interesting because she's sitting at a pond as well okay reflecting in this and this is springtime okay in the mind and this is frozen in the heart so the mind is a very understanding in what's happening in this connection between the two but the heart is still frozen so there's some healing that still needs to happen we have like communication the action okay um I want to pull one because seven is also like a little just like the dishonesty piece. And so I need to pull a little bit on that, which I'll use this deck. Yeah. And we're going to look at the emotions too. And this is about the cycles that are happening. So let, let's take a look. Okay. Let's do that one as the last one. But let's take a look at what is this? Uh, yeah. Let's clarify here the emotion. What is this for the twin spirit? The connection between the twins for the collective here and communication and praise and the dishonesty. Okay, one fell out about their journey. Okay, what this journey? Uh, coming to the mother. This is grandmother right here. Okay, the quest. Look at this. We have two dualities, two different dreams. What are you choosing? Are you choosing the old zaza zing chemical responses of the brain that keep you attached to the 3D world and leave you just, no, this is okay in your everyday life because your everyday life can be magical you guys like i'm telling you running these retreats and working with with my shaman um she's amazing um it's so exciting every day we're like I don't even know. this is so fun it's like things just happen people are coming to me asking me about these retreats it's like yes come come it it's fun it's lively it's abundant it's everything you and i can't explain the magic in it it is so amazing the quest okay this is like a child coming to the mother and balancing this with the father okay this is the balance of merging mother and father energy okay um this is also about ending the cycle so this is what's going to be coming for the union between the two the perception that both twins have about each other okay the transformation of the higher mind look it's coming to her mind Okay, the tree is right on top of her crown chakra. She's wearing purple. It's gaining a deep heart understanding, this green hair, gaining that in the heart chakra about this transformation and what the cycle is that's been running. The, these twins have that are coming <coughs> excuse me, into union or have a really big mission here, okay? Um, moving into Age of Aquarius and setting the new groundwork. Look at this on the bottom, expansion, okay? We have perfection, completion of things, okay? Like, I can't make that up, okay? So 
this is spirit is really saying this is about knowing yeah you are going to be opposites with your twin you are going to have completely different you know you've been souls that have been separated for eons to gain so much wisdom in order to merge it's going to be complementary but it is going to take work in merging mother energy with father energy and knowing what those perceptions are in the cycles that you've been running around in your twin flame union for eons now you will get down downloaded with like i know what the cycle is with my twin i don't i know why i picked the body that i picked in this lifetime because there's a depth and an emotional heart healing that the masculines that i feel not just with him my twin but a lot of masculines have not activated this and this is why the earth healing is so important the mother connecting to the mother okay because masculine look how these there are two old people here <laughs> that up okay that's the union that's happening okay two different decks that are coming out and look he's like sitting there with the candles lit and he's like but he's not being honest he can't know the nurturing of the mother to nurture the child the masculine must come into the feminine to be nurtured to be loved to know the healing gifts of the mother right of the feminine energy and the feminine energy moves into the father to gain the wisdom and the communication and the intelligence and the not that the intel she doesn't have intelligence she has intelligence in a completely different way from intuition right but the but the high intelligence of the order of the organization of the um how to put things in placement how he's writing them down okay and it's to get honest with each other and how to bring this together all right wow really beautiful energy is coming through but let's clarify that a little bit deeper so intuition let's take a look first at uh, let's go a little deeper i'm not going to pull for these two because i feel like i read those pretty good let's take a look at the reflection piece spirit yeah putting a halt on your fears okay so to build foundations we have to be still in this new energy no action in guys this is getting right in with mother earth this is actually feeling the feminine energy putting a halt on things and working through the darkness that is happening with the moon okay using our intuition to guide us okay this is the inner reflection and not having a judgment of what is happening looking at how things are mirroring in your life so that you know that it's pulling you deeper within yourself to work through these dark crevices that are happening the swan this the, the swan queen is really about transformation and, and using that intuition look at this for a new tangible beginning in your union the lovers and the ace of pentacles so this is about bringing unfreezing the swans on their pond okay this is the transformation piece that's going to happen with twin flames with this conjunction with a new tangible beginning beautiful with the lovers Look, I said the magician before coming in reverse. This is this is up to the masculine energy. Masculine reverse, not wanting to use the force of creation. Not wanting to break things down like lightning and, and creation. But that's actually what turns a real feminine on, right? Feminines love watching their masculines break shit down and building and say, yes that is god force right there that is hot like this is where i'm taking you guys energy is hot energy is sexy it's not this whole stuff that people are like oh let's do tantra let's do all of this like they're misusing uh, the new age community is misusing so many techniques that were not meant for how people are using it right now this is why i never played in the new age community i could i could not deal with it because it's about the attraction of the energy that's hot that's what for that's what creation forces that's where sexuality comes from that's where attraction comes from it doesn't come from anywhere else that's where we're moving to you guys but this is frozen right now because it's up to the masculines and finding this is the rise of the masculines this is what i'm really feeling listen to the reading from yesterday okay guys this is about rising up masculine's got to rise up to bring this so in the meantime okay sit through the fears put a halt on things that don't feel good start doing the inner reflection start uh honoring the masculine energy loving and nurturing opening that heart center more being patient with yourself being nurturing to yourself taking care of self okay and then you know speaking to father god starting to know the father intimately creation force energy what that is whatever research that you're doing okay what is this dishonesty about spirit look at this the masculine with the king of cups right getting very honest about their own dishonest heart all right 
about their path with the with with the divine feminine right yeah not being able to renew oneself okay ending regrets in life and having a reunion I you, you, you. yeah friendship first right guys this is going to start as friendship we can't jump into romance because the what we know is love is not real that's all chemical stuff it's not a romantic dream like oh look at the twins coming together it's not about that guys we have to get out of fantasy life okay this is tangible creator force energy wanting to ground starts off of working together as friends discovering what this connection is okay and stop fighting it and allowing it to just be what it's meant to be without any interference right let's say spirit wants me to pull one for interference no interference we it has to stay pure no interference i'm going to just take the first one that flipped out of complacency and things that you've lost from the past because this is the four of cups right right no more looking back to the past of what was no no more of that no more of that okay no more complacency no more looking at what i had to end with other people or i had to cut my family out or i had to stand up for myself and now people don't like me like none of that let it go and move into this energy and discover this is self-discovery this is beautiful all right, let's see the cycles. Gaining a new perception of your twin flame cycles that you've been running through. Spirit wants you to recognize, if you haven't, look, the tower in reverse, okay? Masculine energy wanting to rise and having to come in to destruct the cycles. This is a lot for ma masculines are really on the rise, you guys, okay? Honoring this masculine energy, knowing that the tower is going to have to happen. They're not doing anything about this right now. The cycles, some cycles for masculines are going to have to play out a little bit to change their perception so that they feel more abandoned, okay? Left out in the cold. That some masculines may try, look, old commitments, money, family, foundations that they've built, okay? They're not going to have the courage here. Look at this. It's going to have to end the cycle for fate to come in, all right? So there's still a lot of things that are going to be playing out, but spirit wants you to recognize that... Yeah, both twins, there's going to be a coming together, but it's going to be, you know, what is this? Let's talk. What What is happening in this energy? How is this faded? I'm not feeling romance. I don't want to know if I want to do that. I don't know. It's going to be a little bit weird, okay, <laughs> because of the new conjunction, this conjunction that's happening. So it's going to be a little bit weird, okay? So Spirit, Spirit is just warning you guys with that. Um, yeah, let's take a star seed card and we're going to look at your spirit animal and, uh, that will be the reading. So this is what's happening. So moving forward, you guys, it's a lot of self-reflection. It's a lot of rising of the masculine energy, holding the feminine energy for that space, realizing that there's a balancing here of like, you know, where things haven't been honest and forgiving and, and knowing that, um, this balance of masculine energy and the union is coming together. All right and ending cycles and allowing fate to come in to end those cycles okay so let's take a look here at the star seed Whew. family what are you saying star seeds about this with the twin flame unions that are coming in this conjunction yeah a lot of empathic star seeds guys that's who i work with energetic sovereignty absorbing what's not yours this is you know you can't do that anymore a lot of twins are stuck in karmic situations that you're just taking on the other person's stuff we have to learn as star seeds not to do that this is where that creative force energy is coming in it's like no that's a lightning bolt i'm i'm i have to break that down um and standing very strong okay masculine energy is disciplinary right they're actually the discipline. The spirit wants you to recognize it because I had this awareness the other day. It's not the mothers that discipline, right? It's not the, I shouldn't say, it's, I don't want to genderize this because it's not a gender thing. However, masculine um, energies, okay, uh, are the disciplinaries of the family unit. They're the ones that lay the law down. I hate to say it, but they are, okay? Mothers and the feminine energy is to nurture and to take care. And a lot of tribal times, the masculines would take the masculine energies out into the woods and teach the men how to be men. Okay, it's a and that has been totally stripped of our culture, completely stripped. Now we have all these men who are like completely like uh, distort in a distorted feminine and can't stand in a really strong masculine place. 
they're completely destroyed because they're so afraid to use their power. And this is what's happening with these empathic star seeds here, okay? It's like um, this portal is trying to open up, but you have to balance your empathic abilities with your masculine force energy, okay? We have here big picture thinking. This came up the other day, yesterday in the reading. Go watch that one. Pleiades energy, visionary, inspired ideas. That's Aquarius. That is high intelligence, creating a new world. How can we create a new foundation? How can we build? How can we call people to us and build this new foundation? We had a lot of fours in the reading, right? We have here, we, the half ghost, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. So this is feminine energy coming in, that the feminine is welcoming the masculine energy to birth, to come in, to form creation. Look at this. Look at these, these beams of light coming down through the feminine energy, into the feminine energy, to birth, to create, right? Um, to build on into the feminine. The feminine is the one that nurtures the masculine seed and births it. Like we see this in all of this creation stuff in our world, but we have completely bastardized all of it. You know, even sex and attraction and playing in all these darker things, you know? It's not pure divine love. We're moving towards pure divine love. Okay? So spirits really bring up sex a lot. So you're playing in darker things. Trust me, because I understand like BDSM and all that stuff. Spirit is saying it is a dark attachment. Okay? I used to excuse that. It is a dark attachment. It is. Okay? God's love is about creation for the highest of all. That's what it is. Twins come together in sexual union to birth new ways of living to heal okay their their love making heals thousands and thousands of people right it brought, draws people to them that's sacred unit that's a hero the hero gamos okay we have here the seas of mintaka seeing the potential bringing the unconscious into light look at that's feminine energy bringing the darkness up bringing all that unconscious stuff up that's that's what's happening you guys it's gonna it's going to be a little bit of an emotional ride. I'm not going to lie. I think it's going to be a little bit of a of an emotional thing. Let's pull some emotional cards here. <laughs> Spirit, what emotions can we expect and what chakras are going to align? Let's do that. And then uh, I'll give you your spirit animal and that will be the reading. I just keep, I'm like getting obsessed with oracles these days. I don't know. I'm just getting more pulls of the oracles than the tarot. So let's take a look here. Uh, what are the chakras and the emotions that we can uh, work with as we start balancing the masculine and feminine energies with the conjunction, please, spirit? Yeah, so this is about ac accepting, knowing father, force energy. Um, yeah, look at those gossip. Yeah, don't play in that, guys. Miracle. You're going to get a lot of gossip. Joy. Look at all of this yellow, Okay. What is hindering all of the, and the yellow is joy, self-esteem, knowing who you are. The ego likes to sit in the solar plexus. It rules. The ego sits in the solar plexus and gives you all of this fake confidence of who you are. Yeah, I'm the man. I'm this. Nah, 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 nah. That's what actually creates a lot of distortion on our planet. Sex. It's like, yeah, I know I have a connection. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, that felt good last night. Oh, yeah, baby. Like, that's all that fake stuff. That's not real. That's not real. That's, um, that's chemical responses in your brain, okay? Um, yeah, so this is like becoming enlightened here, the miracle, enlightenment with Father God energy, the Son meeting the Father. Look at this. We had this. Look at this. We met the Mother with the quest. Look at this, right? And I can't lie. It came out on this card. The Father is speaking, you guys, okay? The little boy meeting the mother and meeting the father. Okay? This is solar plexus. This is knowing the truth of who your creator is. And this is knowing who you were nurtured in the womb of the mother. Right? So water energy here. Right? Emotions. The mount He's in a mountain. Look, he's rising out of the mountain. <laughs> beautiful. So yeah, like this is, this is beautiful. And so this is all this beautiful yellow energy is solar plexus, self-esteem, confidence. The ego likes to sit in there knowing the joy, the miracle. But look at this. What's happening in the heart? Gossip. What other people tell you what's real? The karmic energies that are playing out. Oh, the, it plays in your heart. 
and it doesn't feel good. And we have to learn with the emotional world to control the emotional world so that we're not overly emotional. Now, like, I know that's hard. Like, I'm a Pisces love, and I love. People think that I'm, like, so overly emotional that I just jump off the deep end and I'm emotionally unstable. No, that's just how I express myself. But I'm a Gemini rising, so I'm very intelligent as well. I just... And I'm a Capricorn, so I don't move fast at all. But people take my emotional responses as like I'm crazy, but that's just how I express. You know what I mean? This is where, and, and I'm just bringing that up because people are so trapped in all this emotional jargon. The emotional world, the emotions are only there to guide you on your path. We have to learn to use our empathic vessel. We have an empathic star seed. We have to start le learning to use our internal energy systems, you guys. It's not in the mind. Everyone thinks it's in the mind. It's in the mind if you action first and everything ends in the mind. No, that's not true either. The mind is only a reference library. We have to get deep in our feelings, sort out the feelings with the mind to balance masculine and feminine energy and then to know who we are and how to work with those energy systems. If you want to know more, hit me up for a coaching session because that's what I teach people is how to move out of this mind and heart duality and into your gut instincts and how to balance all of this out. So this is going to trick a lot of us out of our unions the gossip, okay? I mean, this person even, these people even look like people that I know. <laughs> it's so freaking crazy. But this is like the gossip. And look how this person is in the heart trying to manipulate the entire situation. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, let's like get an animal card and that will be your reading. Don't forget to like and comment, all right? I'm like hyped today, man. I am so hyped we have the B on the bottom I just flipped it to see I just did a post on Instagram about the the B and this is feminine energy the the flower does not think of the B coming right this is what I'm saying it's not in the mind the flower just is and the feminine is just receptive so that the B just shows up and that's how masculine wants to come to planet earth is so that everybody can be balanced and nurtured in the feminine open and receiving with their and, and regular in their emotions it's about emotional regularity you know so that you're uh, even and using your emotions appropriately as your compass to guide your way through your world but knowing that the masculine is then coming to populate that you know all right so guys take a look at this animal spirit you can research it online and stuff like that i'm not going to put a link because i want you guys to just use your own intuition to go do that Trust whatever first pops up for you. Trust when things come into your environment, okay? But have a discernment. Don't believe and don't. That's the problem a lot of people have and get trapped into darker forces. They just believe whatever shows up. No. Take out the grain of salt. Have a judgment about it. Not like a bad judgment, but a discernment that this is showing up. I'm going to research it. I'm going to sit with it. I'm going to fester. Let's see what that brings up for me. It's an observation. Use your observation technique. That is Father God energy creator force sits back and observes the heavens sit back and watch what's happening on that planet right very high perspective all right what is the animal totem to be working with spirit the crocodile well we got a few here <laughs> we got quite a bit take a look at the crocodile all right this is, um, I don't, don't know much about the crocodile, to be honest with you, and I don't have the book on me, but yeah, look, I'm just doing this so you guys can look it up. Look up the crocodile, look up the beaver. These are feminine energies, okay? These are uh, water energies, okay? Look up the mouse, which is a earth energy, and look what we got, the unicorn. This is one of the mystical cards. This is beautiful. It's about the mysticism. This is what I'm talking about. Trusting the unknown, moving into the magic, the creator force energy. The mice is really, I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to do the other three. I kind of can feel them out, but spirit is really saying, look them up, go look up crocodile, look up beaver, start doing a little bit of work, start seeing how this reading starts to sit with you and maybe even like go over some of my other content and stuff like that. And, and uh, yeah, use these animals, whatever you're drawn to, to see how it's playing out in your life. And that is what maybe the energies that spirit is singing that's coming in with the saturn and jupiter conjunction 
All right, my loves, so much love. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want to come to do ayahuasca. Check a look down below if you would like any more information about me. Simply send me an email. Again, everything's down below. Take care. Bye.